Hey guys, Vincent here, and this is the Bionet 9802. <laughs> This is actually the first bayonet we take a look at that was not designed for regular infantry, but for artillery and pioneer troops. The bayonet 9802, or a Seitengewehr 9802 in German, is a sword-like bayonet with heavy-duty straight blade featuring a sawback. The handle is an old steel construction with two wooden grip pieces. The troops who carried this bayonet used the Mauser 98 rifle, so the bayonet 9802 uses the Mauser single rail mounting system. It's the first time I use a grey background center for a straight white one, but I think you can see the blades even better with the grey, so I hope you guys like it. The overall length of this piece is 560mm. The blade itself is 427mm long, between 34 and 37mm wide and 6mm thick. Without the sheath, the bayonet weighs around 620 grams. To understand the design of this bayonet and its very famous successor, the Bayonet 9805, also called the Butcher Bayonet, we need to take a look at another weapon, something called in German the Faschinenmesser, or Faschine knife in English. The best word to describe this tool is a military machete style of tool or weapon. Artillery and pioneer troops used it to help them fortify positions and do other construction work. Originally used to hack up bundles of saplings or small trees, it quickly became a symbol of these special troops. The first Prussian fusheen knife who featured a sawback was the model of 1810. Later came in the model of 1855 and with the introduction of the Dreiser needle rifle for the Pioneer troops came the first bayonet fusheen knife hybrid with the Pioneer fusheen knife 1865. This mountable Pioneer fusheen knife was later adopted to fit the new rifle or Jägerbüchse M1871. After the adaption it would be called Pioneer fusheen knife 65-71. I don't have any good pictures I can show you but I found some pictures I took of an old Pioneer Fischi knife 65-71 I used to own. So these have to do. You can see the overall design of the blade is already the same as it is with the Bayonet 9802. A big straight blade featuring a sawback and a handle with a muzzle ring and locking mechanism. This type of bayonet would serve with the Pioneers and other technical units until they switched the Rifle 88 with their new rifle 98. For the very short period of the Boxer Rebellion, the East Asian Pioneer Battalion were equipped with a trial Pioneer Fischie knife that could also be fixed to the rifle 98, called the Model 71-98, but it proved too heavy and too clumsy. So in 1900, trials for a new official replacement were held and the Bionet 98 was created and adopted in 1902. Basically, they scaled the whole blade of the old Pioneer Fischi knife 65 or 65-71 down around 25% and added a sturdy grip with the Mauser mounting system. The service life of this bayonet was not very long. It only served from 1902 until 1905 when it got replaced by the Bayonet 9805. The 9802 was deemed too heavy and having handled one myself, I can only agree. During these three years of service, the Bionet 9802 was issued to Pioneer, Telegraph and Railway units. Before we start with the markings, I just wanted to point one thing out once more. There is no version of the Bionet 9802 without a sawback. They all come with the same sawback blade. Okay. Let's have a look at our four different types of markings. The manufacturer marking, the proof marks, the property stamp and the unit markings. The manufacturer of this piece is the State Arsenal of Erfurt. Proof marks are J and L under a crown. The property stamp is W02 
meaning Kaiser Wilhelm II, and the year 1902, when this piece became state property. I have only seen 9802s with the year 02 and with the year 05 stamped on them. The later ones with the 05 stamp are typical Bavarian or Saxon pieces. The unit markings are 12, P, 2 and 166, standing for the 12th Pioneer Battalion, 2nd Company and weapon number 166. As mentioned earlier, you can also find these binets with markings from telegraph units, that would be a T, and with railway troops, they would have an E instead of the P for pioneers, as you can see here on this example. As always guys, thank you so much for listening. Please leave a like or dislike so I can see what am I doing right and where to improve. If you have any questions about Imperial or Prussian bayonets, please feel free to ask. And this leaves me with nothing else to say but I will see you guys in the next video.